Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Joel and a happy Valentine's to each one of you out there. This Valentine, I got a surprise ingredient which I would want you to share with your loved one. You want to know more about this surprise ingredient? Stay tuned. So guys, today we're going to do a sun-dried chicken. And to know about the surprise ingredient in this chicken, let me show you the ingredient list. We have quarter cup of white wine. We have two thighs and two leg pieces with skins attached, which I will talk about later. I have two tablespoons of olive oil, a tablespoon and a half of black pepper powder, salt to taste, one tablespoon of green chili pickle, I have one cup of all-purpose flour, I've got potatoes, one potato cut into thin slices, I've got two bay leaves. So the secret ingredient guys are the sun-dried tomatoes. I'm sure everybody has sun-dried tomatoes on your pizzas, in your burgers or wherever but we are using this ingredient in our dish today. You have no idea what kind of flavors this influences our dish to become something very unique and it's a love dish. Two chicken bullions. I've got shallots, which are three shallots which I've cut finely, six garlics which I've minced finely, and I've got 120 grams of tomatoes which I have de-skinned and removed out the water separately. So the first thing I'm going to do is dredge this with a little all-purpose flour, season the flour with salt and pepper. and just run my hands on it so that the flour is nicely coated the chicken and I'm ensuring that each and every part of the chicken is covered with the flour this not only removes of the moisture it also gives a nice crisp texture when we go ahead and kind of cook the chicken so what I'll do next is we just heat the flame and now we will put in some olive oil enough to coat the pan or the casserole so we're just going to add our chicken pieces inside skin piece down so we want our chicken nice and crispy now i've used skin on the chicken i know skin is you know termed as you know not being one of the best choices However, to get that nice crispy feel and the caramelization of the chicken, I've added that, kept the skin on and added it face down onto the hot casserole. Now, the chicken will be fried till it has a nice brown color on all sides. Okay, so our chicken is turned nice and crisp and brown on one side. It's time to turn onto the other side. That's amazing crispiness achieved. Okay, so our chicken is done. I'm just going to remove it out. I'm going to talk to you something about souks. Souks is nothing but the juice that has been left back on the pan. Uh, ensure that you do not burn it. And how you do that is by regulating the temperature by keeping from medium, high to low. Okay, so we're going to add our three shallots. Then we're going to put in our garlic. Now in case the oil is less, in the pan, you can add in more oil. We seem to have enough. We're just going to saute this for about 30 seconds on a medium flame. We don't need any color change in the onions. And then we're going to add the bay leaves and we're going to deglaze it with the wine. So the souks is basically why we're going to deglaze with the wine to remove all the good stuff from the bottom of the pan. Now I'm going to add the bay leaves and the wine. So I put about two bay leaves and I put about a quarter cup of white wine. By adding the wine and deglazing the pan, you have actually cleared all the souks. See how clear it has become? Now that the wine has evaporated, what we need to do is add in the sun dried tomatoes. Okay, we add our sun dried tomatoes, our green chili pickle, the cubes, and finally the tomatoes. Good shake. Okay, look at all the colors. What colors? So now I'm going to add the water. 
salt and pepper okay just going to fill it up two third of the way add in my salt and pepper and increase the flame so it all comes to a boil actually we don't want to boil we just want it little bubbles coming out from the bottom that's about it all right the dish is almost done my sauce is it is the aromas are crazy this dish goes very well with pasta if you're a pasta eater or you could also try polenta or you could try it with rice but pasta you would love it with that okay so we're going to add the potatoes in a nice fashionable way especially for your loved one after all impressing your loved one is what by we making this dish right and then we'll add our chicken just push it in a bit there we go let's push it in. and the final piece of chicken okay so everything is gone into the dish all i have to do is put the lid on and let it cook in its own steam for the next 40 to 45 minutes i have waited for 45 minutes and our sun dried chicken dish is now ready you will be the first one to see how this dish looks Here we go. Amazing. You have to taste this dish. You you have to. This is something I wish I could just put it through the camera but this is amazing. I had some leftover uh, uh, pasta remaining from the other day which I've kind of, you know, heated it through and as I said earlier, this dish goes best with pasta. What's left is go ahead and assemble the dish. So come on, let's go. So to begin plating, we're just going to put from the shallots the stems and the stalks from the shallots so i'm making the first layer and now our beautiful pasta and our sun dried chicken oh this is so beautiful some of the sun dried tomatoes on top of that sun dried tomatoes what a beautiful ingredient to use in any dish especially this valentines if you enjoyed watching this recipe subscribe to india food network share it with your friends and family and send in your comments and feedback i would really like to know what you did this valentines and what did you eat till then arwar <laughs>